Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a album review. And this is for a surprising album review that I know doesn't come out till August 30th. And that's Lana Del Rey's new record, Norman fucking Rockwall. Rockwell. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to and let you know what I thought of this record. So let's dive into this review. Now, if you want to find this record, if most of you are impatient on waiting to listen to this album, it's on uh, Cape Jams. But the only song that's missing is How to Disappear. I had to listen to the live version for that, and I actually like the live version a lot. Well, it was like 3 minutes and 32 seconds, the How to Disappear, the one I downloaded. But, it was really good. Um, nice piano in it, followed by Lana's vocals in it, that's outstanding. And the majority of these tracks are pretty amazing. This is a beautifully written record. And it's almost a masterpiece. I know most of you that are going to be listening to this when it comes out next Friday. Not this Friday, but the 30th. Are going to be amazed by this record. Because this record is... It's something to really remember in the year of 2019. And this year has had so many good records, surprisingly. And less bad records this year. So that's a good thing. Um, but I'm going to talk more about the songs that I listen to. Um, the title track, Norman fucking Rockwell, <laughs> that's just a funny title when he, she's saying fucking. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I was, had something in my throat, but, yeah, the title track was, eh, I wasn't that amazed by it. It wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't bad it's not a bad track it, there's nothing terribly wrong with it it's just how it sounds and all that it just feels off to me s somehow there's something about it that m makes me that throws me off about this song and it just feels very uh, kind of cheesy this song I'm not trying to put this artist down or anything I'm just saying this song feels a little cheesy but it's just the one song so uh, what I thought about every other track on here was really good Mariner's apartment complex I might be saying it wrong you may have to remind me in the comments below how it's pronounced Mariner's apartment complex I think it's called uh, that was really good um, it is a single and I know it came out last year but it it was really good sorry if I yawned I don't know what's coming on to me <laughs> I keep yawning a lot in my videos and I am really sorry about that but pretty much the melodies for each track, they almost sound the same, but I kind of ignored that fact because I just like how the melody is grasping my soul and it's just very soothing and really nice. You might not know what I'm talking about, but pretty much... I'm getting a really good vibe listening to this album, is what I'm saying. Like a very mellow paced kind of vibe. And I like albums that try to be very soothing and kind of make you feel something for it. That's what an album's supposed to do, it's supposed to make you feel something. 
make you feel joy, make you feel uh, happy about it, or whatever it is, but uh, overall, mer most of these tracks are just all out amazing. Um, Venice Bitch is the third track on here. Jeez, that was a long song. It's like n over nine and a half minutes. <laughs> Ugh, I felt like I was dazing off in that song. <laughs> Most of the time, I felt like I was dazing off and or dazing off and to this album mostly. When I was listening through it, it just felt like I was. Like, it was an album that could put me to sleep very well. It's really mellow. It's really nice. And I really like it. But there are a few flaws to it. Some production in some of the tracks kind of sound similar. But I know it's trying not to. And I know she's really working hard to make it a beautifully written record. And it really is. It really is. It just... There are a few tracks on here that I wasn't pleased with. And that was the title track and the next best American record. That one... Uh, they were my least favorites, but 12 out of 14 of these tracks are amazing. They got 5 out of 5s. They're really good. I really enjoyed it. Um... Fuck It, I Love You is, well, it's pretty nice. Mellow 2. Uh, Do In Time was probably the only one that had a lot of synth pop in it. Or whatever kind of pop music it had in it. Or what genre kind of music it had in it. And it did pretty good. She mentioned something about uh, in her song Do In Time. That she loved this girl, but she didn't give a shit. And I was like, wow. <laughs> then why are you in that relationship? That's kind of what I'm pretty much replying to with that uh, line that she said in that song. Uh, but doing time was really good. Um, Love Song was a really nice track. Uh, Cinnamon Girl was not too bad. It was pretty mellow, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. But How to Disappear was... I only heard the live version for it, or kind of the live version of it. And it was really nice. It, it really did a great job. For what it was. Then you got California. Which did really good. And The Greatest. Which I really loved. And Bartender. The last track on here. Is probably my favorite out of all of them. Uh, it's called. Hope is a dangerous thing. For a woman like me to have. But I have it. That is a long title. But it's a really good song. It's really nice, it's a great way to close a record, and kudos to Lana Del Rey for making a really good album. Out of 10, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10, because I fell in love with this record when I first heard it, and I just listened to it again and again. Well, I only listened to it twice today, but I really enjoyed it, and I'm going to keep listening to it more, and probably... Before the album comes out, I'll make a more talk on this record. But definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Lana Del Rey album, Norman fucking Rockwell, if you've heard it. And if you want to find this record, it's on Cape Jams right now. But you're going to have to download How to Disappear on Google. You'll have to search Lana Del Rey how to disappear mp3 on google and then find which one that works there's one that's three minutes and 32 seconds and that's the one you should get because it 
was it's something I recommend but uh pretty much this record was all out amazing and I really loved it uh, tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel I will be returning to you tomorrow for the this well I'm not gonna say what album I'm reviewing tomorrow it is a Tuesday album review I almost actually said what it was gonna be <laughs> but you'll find out tomorrow which album I'm gonna be reviewing but I gotta listen to it first again and then I'll be doing the review for it but thank you for watching this review like I said I'll do more talk on Lana Del Rey's Norman fucking Rockwell album probably on the 29th or 30th so close to the end of the month is when I'll do it so thank you for watching this review I hope you enjoyed it I know it was a long video I just wanted to make it long so you guys understand what I thought of it and why I really liked it and what I thought of each song and almost all these songs are really good they're very mellow but they're really good but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one